Hello everyone, this is Ksenia Mia Bragilovsky speaking out of my hotel room here in Vilnius, Lithuania. It's the 8th of March, 2.16 in the afternoon. Uh, my situation is such that um, I am currently trying to resolve my situation of a displaced person, victim of international crimes. As far as I'm concerned and given the health status of my mother, uh, which was a long play in, in retrospect, so to speak. Um, she had syphilis uh, from Tashkent to Uzbekistan, okay? And I was kidnapped at a young age as a minor. I was kidnapped by the means of uh, manipulating telecommunication channels, manipulating exchange rates, uh, buying out properties, uh, education boards, school boards, um, and effectively creating uh, uh, populations uh, ready for trafficking into host countries. Okay, so uh, if you think about uh, post-Soviet territories uh, back in... I don't know, end of 80s, uh, beginning of 90s, mid 90s, uh, you can imagine. Um, an American company or a Western European company could just go in and uh, buy out uh, school boards, education boards, universities, governments, uh, large um, um, sort of uh, public corporations uh, for cents for cents, uh, literally just private, privatize everything and uh, start building uh, empires or um, sort of, um, if you think about it, uh, attempt, attempt at building empires over there, uh, scramble whatever didn't work out and start over again. And so in this way, uh, millions of uh, uh, miners, okay, uh, by way of manipulating workplaces and uh, social settings of their parents who were in dire straits. The parents were in dire straits. Like, I mean, the basic needs were not met, okay? And it's not just my story, but of course I'm talking about myself. I'm going to be speaking only about myself. Uh, but that is not just my experience, okay? There were millions of kids like me who were just uh, kidnapped in this way, Um I was kidnapped by way of all of this uh, uh, crap, you know, when you go in and you just uh, buy out properties and, um, and you have access to all of the dormitories in the property, you install your own cameras, you install your own uh, uh, listening devices, you install your own uh, security locks, you buy out school boards, you buy out universities, you buy out markets, you buy out... Uh, uh, government institutions, uh, uh, large, you privatize for nothing, for nothing. You privatize uh, what used to be large public crown corporations or like crown corporations, I mean, uh, telecommunication companies, utility companies, etc., etc. And in this way, you start building uh, small unions and empires. So it's like a video game, okay? I was an avatar in a video game of sorts, um, uh, sort of a doll to manipulate to do this or that for uh, meager foods, uh, for meager uh, whatever, education and the promise of the great future, okay? So uh, that, 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 that's all I knew, that's all I knew, the lies and the fraud and the uh, buying out populations, uh, forcing populations into displacement for cents and pennies, so to speak, okay, by large uh, foreign investorships, uh, non-government, private or whatever, under whatever name. All right. Um, so this is how my mother found herself syphilitic uh, with syphilis in her central nervous system. OK, uh, she kidnaps me, traffics me over to Canada. In Canada, I have no rights. It's the same th shit. I have a bogus passport that says that I am. Oh, all of a sudden I was born in Tashkent, Uzbekistan. That oh, oh, yeah, I was a citizen of Tashkent, Uzbekistan. I have nothing to do with Tashkent, Uzbekistan. But OK, because I was kept there via fraud, via 
uh, 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 sort of um, just going into the country and buying it all out, uh, labeling people, or oh, you go live there, or you go live there, and we're gonna scramble it and start building empire, scramble it and start building a new empire. Oh, it didn't work out. Oh, we lost people, but that's fine. We're gonna scramble the game and gonna start building a new empire again. And so that's how I was an avatar in this video game uh, called, okay, let's uh, hijack this group of population, send them over there. Let's hijack this group of population, send them over there. Okay, and so I was kidnapped and sent to live with my syphilitic mother, not to mention that the uh, Uzbek authorities uh, completely just sold their uh, people out to various, various investors and uh, non-government organizations and whoever just uh, found it uh, uh, entertaining enough to set up their shop and start advertising how wonderful the uh, life is over there, okay? And so this is how my mother and her current spouse, Michael Magilevsky, okay, kidnapped me and trafficked me into Canada. And so I found myself in Canada with bullshit documentation, bullshit passport, bullshit documentation, sitting in a uh, forced marriage to a congenitally ill individual, slowly dying, along with my mother, with bullshit documents, with no rights, with all of our telecommunication channels being manipulated, in a way to, of course, benefit the host country, okay? And so I am sitting there with no rights, dying slowly. All right, and no one is doing nothing about it. But they, of course, have people who are off record. They are all dead, all Mertvei Dushim, just like uh, I am a Mertvei Dushim. So the Mertvei Dushim on the other end are the masters of the game, and we are the avatars, okay? And so we are sort of... Uh, uh, kind of working here in this bogus work placement and that bogus work placement while we are being monitored 360, 24-7, 365. Okay, so everyone knows uh, that we are slowly dying, but hey, who cares, right? We were slaughtered back in the 90s. We were all slaughtered back in the 90s. So whatever is being done to us is nothing because we were already slaughtered. Legally speaking, we were already slaughtered. Um, yeah, so I'm sitting here in this uh, wonderful uh, city of Vilnius, Lithuania, part of EU. Uh, of course, the folks here think that uh, they are the uh, Europeans nowadays, etc., etc. Anyway, it's their uh, kind of uh, history to build, uh, not my um, business sort of thing, but I just want to mention that um, by way of manipulating exchange rates, okay, preconceived notions and judgments, etc., etc., very bluntly, okay, exchange rates, exchange rates make it uh, living and eating and meeting very basic needs of a Canadian citizen, which I am not because I was trafficked into Canada in the first place. So whatever bullshit passport I came here with, whatever bullshit driving license I came here with, whatever bullshit other documentation that was given to me throughout the past 39 <coughs> years is bullshit, just that, okay? Uh, um, so I am Canadian, and so for Canadian like myself, of course I'm such a Canadian, uh, being thrust into this wonderful uh, little European country, uh, meeting basic needs such as food and transportation is um, uh, very onerous, very, very onerous to say uh, the least, okay? Uh, Living here for an average Canadian, which I'm not, because you're slaughtering your own, but hey, who, who cares? You want to be part of EU. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I am a victim of international crimes, trafficking, kidnapping, etc., etc. Please uh, take a look at 400 uh, videos that I've uh, uploaded to my public YouTube channel. Sitting here trying to meet my basic needs, to uh, find food in the local supermarkets um, that's charged to me in my host country, uh, the Great Canada, at 150% of your cost, okay, whatever your uh, beautiful country has to offer to you, it's 150% to me. We, uh, who was already victimized enough in the country where I'm coming from, so I'm now being re-traumatized, re-victimized by way of this uh, manipulation of exchange rates. Oh, the Great European Union, you want to go to Great European Union, here you go, 150%. 
so that you don't eat, so that you don't clothe yourself, so that you don't go anywhere. You just sit in your room and you try to meet your very basic needs. And that is my story from the 80s. From the 80s, this is my story, that my whole life is survival, trying, trying, I highlight the, the word, trying to be, meet my basic human needs, okay? And so, yes, I will try, because that was the purpose of my uh, travel here in the first place, I will attempt to cross the Russian border to let the Russian authorities know that, you know what, I am one of the millions who are just uh, stolen from the uh, Great Russian Federation by way of all this bullshit sort of thing. So we were all sold, the miners, the future generation, we were all sold by our own parents, by our own countrymen, by our own ethnicities to whatever, be the Vileda, uh, Palavaya Tryapka, to uh, sort of clean up after the Americans, after the Canadians, and after the Commonwealth countries, etc., etc. That's it. That's the video comment for the day. Thank you very much.